Hello everyone, Tony from Hack the Movies here, and earlier this week we covered Batman 1989 on my podcast. That episode is a lot of fun, go check that out. We had a really good time looking back at Batman, and we even got a Batmobile for the actual episode, which was awesome. I thought we need to keep this Batman 89 hype going, especially since the Flash is on the way. And I thought it'd be cool to cover one of the Batman video games. Now, there are a lot of video games based off this movie. Now, the Sunsoft Batman on NES is a uh, fan favorite Nintendo game. A lot of my friends who grew up with it love it. Yes, it is a very fun game, but the uh, purple bat suit, bosses from the comics who weren't in the movie giant lightning wielding joker and whatever the hell this place is supposed to be kind of stops it from being just like the movie luckily there were other games based off this film and today we're going to look at one in particular let's find out if batman 89 the arcade game is just like the movie well it's got actual voices from the film i'm batman Shield open. Wait till they get a load of me. And the music seems spot on. Shield open. Batman actually looks like Batman. The Joker and Vicky Vale even resemble their film counterparts. And I gotta give a shout out to the level designs. These all look like locations from the movie. The alleys in the game look straight out of the movie. There's even some delis and whatnot in the background, kind of like the ones in the film. The chemical plant and Flugenheim Museum aren't an exact one-to-one -one recreation, but they're very similar to what's in the film. You even get to go to Gotham City Hall and see those creepy statues outside of it. You can even fight at the Monarch Theater, which is playing the new hit film, Sex, Lies, and Video. Games? And of course, you climb the stairs and face the Joker in a great recreation of the Gotham Cathedral and they nailed the feel of the vehicles. You get to be in the front seat of the Batmobile and the cockpit of the Batwing and use all the gadgets that were featured in the film. You can even grab the balloons with your bat scissors. The only thing look-wise that doesn't work for me are the Joker's goons. They all look like generic mafioso guys, which is fine for the beginning of the game, but when he became Joker in the film, he gave them all makeovers. We don't even see the leather jacket goons until the very end of the game. So they nailed the look and feel of the movie. How did they do with the story? Not too bad, actually. The game makes you go through all the big Batman action beats from the film. From fighting the goons in back alleys from the beginning, to fighting Jack and his goons in the factory, then to saving Vicky at the museum, which leads to the Batmobile chase, then, of course, the second back alley fight, the parade, then the clock tower. They did throw in an extra Batmobile level in the beginning where you have to machine gun the mob cars. Also, Batman kind of showed up to the museum and ran out in the movie. Here, he actually beats people up for a bit. And I don't remember him machine gunning armies of helicopters at the end of the movie. I only remember Joker having one helicopter. And I have to mention the great attention to detail they did for the Joker. He uses his pen, the fake teeth, and he even puts on glasses during the final fight. It took some liberties when it came to adapting the source material, but for the most part, it hits all the beats from the film. It looks, feels, and sounds enough like the movie that I'm just going to come out and say it. Batman the Arcade Game is just like the movie. Let me know in the comments below if you agree. Please go back and check out my Batman episode of my podcast. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I do a podcast every Monday on the channel, sometimes Thursdays. Uh, we do movies new and old. Uh, sometimes it's the talking about tape. Sometimes it's just the hack the movie show. I think you'll really, really like it. We've done a bunch of Batman movies. We are going to do Batman Returns at the end of the month. So now would be a good time to watch that previous episode. Uh, yes, please like, share, and subscribe. Check out our playlist where I do more movie-based games and figure out if they're just like the movie. And yeah, if you love everything you see here, consider becoming a channel member or better yet, a patron on Patreon. Thank you all. I'm Tony from Hack the Movies. Goodbye. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our other videos and Patreon page.